So you made the decision you want to kick the butts and you've decided to give this whole vaping thing a try. Well, stay tuned to this video because I'm going to help you pick your first device. I like to kick people's butts. Welcome back to Kicking Butts. My name is John and today we're talking about picking your first vaping device. You've probably looked around and you've probably seen all these young kids carrying these giant black boxes and they're blasting these huge clouds and you're thinking, my God, I just want to get off cigarettes. I don't need all that. Well, you don't. And that's what we're going to talk about. The main goal here is to keep you off of the cigarettes and find something for you that's going to satisfy those urges that you're going to have to smoke. Depending on where you go, the folks in your local vape shop are going to tell you a lot of different things. Now, please understand, I've been to well over a hundred vape shops doing what I do for a living, and they all have the same goal in mind, and that is to get you away from cigarettes and get you into vaping. But the way they get you from point A to point B can vary quite a bit. One shop might say, well, if you're just coming off the cigarettes, you got to go with a device like this. While the next shop might say, oh no, you need a device like this. And then the next guy goes all in on it and says, oh no, you need one of these guys right here. Well, let's go through all of these devices. I'll briefly touch on each one, kind of how they work and what they do. I'll show you how they perform. And then you can take all of that information and formulate your own opinion on what you think is going to be the right first device for you. Now let's start off talking about a device like this. Now a lot of people are going to make fun of me for talking about a device like this because this really is just kind of one step up from the garbage e-cigs that you can get at the convenience store or at the gas station. These usually run about 25 bucks and there's a lot of shops that use these to get you off of the cigarettes and take a step into vaping. The way these things work, you have a very small tank, a mill and a half or so. We'll get into talking about mills as we go, but a milliliter and a half or so of juice that goes into this little tank up here. There is a coil head inside that you will replace when it goes bad. When you push the fire button on this device, it heats up the coil, vaporizes the liquid, and that's what you breathe in to your lungs. Now, the the performance of a device like this is very similar to a cigarette. You're going to draw it into your mouth, then inhale it into your lungs and blow it out like you would a cigarette, unless you're smoking on one of those wacky cigarettes. To smoke, uh, smoke a marijuana cigarette. But anyway, that's definitely not what we're talking about here. This is a device that is not very easy for me to use. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. But it, it couldn't be easier to use for a new vapor. You have a button, you push it five times, turns the device on, and then you just push the button and you go. This is going to hurt. I'm going to pass out trying to use this thing. And there's a real good reason why that is. As a vapor, I inhale the same way that almost all vapors do. And that would be a direct lung inhale. If this is very new to you, you might not even know what I'm talking about. But with a cigarette, you draw it into your mouth and then you inhale it and blow it out. That's how all smokers do it. Again, unless you're smoking that other stuff. Are you a pothead fucker? So with vaping, it's very different. You draw it from the device directly into your lungs. It's a lot easier. It flows better and it doesn't hurt as much. It doesn't hurt your chest like a mouth to lung inhale will. But if you've been smoking for 35 years, you might not get used to doing it any other way. And you may always be a mouth to lung inhaler. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're not smoking cigarettes, we are good to go. This device though, again, it's very cheap. It's I guess you could say it's good to start with as long as you're not smoking cigarettes, but you're probably going to want to go up to something more. If you've made the decision that you're really going to give a go at vaping, I'm going to recommend to you at least one step higher than this. That's what we're talking about next. Now, before we go any further, I do want to say that for the rest of the devices that I'm going to talk about, I'm, I'm not going to do this for that piece of junk that I just showed you. But for the rest of these devices, I'm going to do individual videos for these devices to show you in depth how they work. And so if you're watching this video and you see a device that intrigues you, I'm going to put the video right here that will take you to a more in-depth 
talk about that particular device. Some of these devices are a little older, and so the hardcore vapors out there are probably going to make fun of me for reviewing them now. They've been out for a long time, so they're like, why are you reviewing them now? But that's okay, because this is for you. This is for you, the smoker, that I want to convert into a vapor. So the next device that we're going to talk about is light years ahead of this thing. Everything is basically doubled and in some cases tripled as far as the performance of the device goes. And that's this little guy right here. This is available in a bunch of different colors. And again, I'll put the video right here of a more in-depth explanation as to what this is. But this is an Ego One by a company called Joytech. This is what many, many people start with. It's, again, light years ahead of that starter kit. It has a larger tank, a much larger battery, so you'll pretty much be able to use this thing all day long. The airflow is substantially better so that you can do that direct lung inhale like I did or like I'm about to show you. And overall, everything about it is much, much better than that little starter pen that I just showed you. I know people that have used Ego Ones and they've used them for years or they use a device similar to this and they never go any higher. Why? Because a device like this gives them what they're looking for and they're satisfied with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, if you're a young person, you're going to do this for different reasons. But for people like me that were looking for an alternative to tobacco, something like this might work for you for the long haul. But for most of us, this is still an entry-level device. Now, again, just like the other one, it's basically one button is all you have on this device. Push the button five times, the device turns on. It might be three. I don't know. Watch that video and you'll know. But push the button a few times, it turns on, you push it again to fire it, and that's it. It has adjustable airflow in it, a two and a half mil tank, so it holds substantially more juice than the other did. And overall, everything about it is much more enjoyable. Watch the video and you'll see, but I'll give you an example of how this works. Compare it to the last one, and I wasn't trying to be funny with the last one. Compare it to that one, and you'll see it's a significant difference. You see that? You look more like the young people out there blasting their clouds. Everything about it, the flavor, the obviously the production of the vapor, everything about it is much, much better. It is more expensive. I mean, this is, uh, off the top of my head, anywhere from 50 to $70, might even be a little bit cheaper. But for what you're getting and the overall experience, everything about this is way better than that first one that we talked about. So if you're on a budget and you're just starting out, I would recommend this before I would recommend that first one. Now, the last device that we're going to talk about today is another entry level, another starter kit, if you will. All of these things that I've been talking about so far are devices that everything you need is in one box except for the juice. And in the case of this device that we're going to talk about, a battery. You would have to buy a battery and some e-liquid. But other than that, it comes with everything that you'll need. I wanted to make sure that you knew that. This one, again, is a big step up from that Ego One. It's actually made by the same company. This is called the Evic VTC Mini, and this is from the same company, Joytech. Very good at the entry-level products. This one is going to give you basically the freedom to fine-tune this experience to the way you like it. You have adjustments on this device that you do not have on that first one. Like I said, the first two that we talked about, you push the button and you get what you get. With the Ego One, you do have a little bit of adjustable airflow, and that's nice. But other than that, you cannot fine-tune the experience to your needs, whereas with this one, you can. This is what's called a temperature control device. And again, in this video, I will go in much more depth about that, but you can adjust the temperature of the vapor that's being produced. You can make it warmer if you like that warm kind of feel, or you can make it cooler. You don't want to feel it go down into your lungs. You just want it to go there. You have adjustability with this device that you did not have with the Ego One or with the Junky Starter Pen. Now, this one, again, holds a lot more juice. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I think it's three mils, maybe even four mils of juice that this holds. We call it juice. It's called e-liquid, but we all call it juice. But it holds, I think, three, maybe even four mils of juice. It's a lot more. You can see the difference between the two sizes. It's pretty, pretty significant difference 
between the two size tanks. So you're getting much more liquid in there, last you significantly longer, adjustable airflow, adjustable temperature. And again, there are the coil heads that are in this. All of these devices have coil heads, which are the, the coil that produces the heat, which vaporizes the liquid and they go bad after time. So you have to replace them. It's very simple to do. It's literally just unscrewing it, putting a new one in. Anybody can do it. And again, in the other videos, I will show you how all of that happens. But the battery on this device is removable. Take it out, charge it up on a charger, or you can plug this in to USB and plug it in, or, or excuse me, charge it. So you have a lot of options with this device. I'm not going to get into all of the options, but this is a great way. If you have the money, again, it's 20 maybe $25 more than the Ego One. So it's a little bit more money. But this is a device that you can use for a very, very long time. You can blow the clouds like the young people do. You can really experience the flavor. You can overall feel what it's like to be a vapor. You can experience what we're all talking about and what we're so excited about with this device where that little starter pen, you're just not going to get it. So let me show you. I know it's not exciting to watch, but let me show you how this guy works. It's much bigger. Now, you're not going to go out there and compete in some silly cloud competition with a device like this. But I promise you, this device can get you off of the cigarettes or get you off of the tobacco. And you know how I know that? It's because this device is what worked for me. This, the one I'm holding in my hand, I didn't get sent this by a website or a manufacturer to review. I bought this, and this is the device that got me off of tobacco. So I know if it can work for me, it can work for you. Now, you don't know me, so you don't know if you trust me or not, but if I was going to recommend a device to you to start with, I would tell you to go straight to a device like this. And the main reason why is because a lot of people are going to say, vaping is so much cheaper than smoking. Well, it's not going to be cheaper if you buy device after device after device trying to find something that works for you. I bought two devices before this one before I found this one, and this was actually the right one. This was the one that worked for me. The others, they didn't work for me. So I would say skip that. Just skip all of it and go straight to something like this. You don't have to use this device for direct lung inhale. You can turn the airflow down and do a mouth-to-lung inhale just like you would with your cigarettes. There's all kinds of flexibility with a device like this. And again, this is the... Evic VTC Mini from Joytech. You don't have to get this device. There's a lot of devices out there like this, like iSticks. There's Kanger Tech boxes, Subbox Minis and all of that. Different starter kits. Every vape shop has them. I would go with something more like this before I would go with one of the smaller starter kits. Just because you might as well, I mean, you're going to go to something like this anyway. So you might as well get this one first. It's just bringing back memories. I, I just love it. So there you go. I hope that this has helped you to, to kind of understand what these small little entry level devices will do for you. Again, if, if it was my money, I'd be spending it on a temperature control adjustable device like this that holds more e-liquid. Everything's bigger, better battery life, more flexibility. I would go with something like this. But if you're very limited on budget, folks, trust me when I tell you this. Don't get something like this. It's just, it's not going to work. I took two drags off of that thing and my chest was hurting. It's just, it's just unacceptable. If you're absolutely limited on funds, get something similar to this because this will get you off of the cigarettes. This will get you away from chewing tobacco or whatever it is that you're addicted to. This will do it. Uh, that little pen, it won't do it. So go with something temperature control, something with some flexibility so that you can fine tune it to be exactly the way you want. That way you're successful because we don't want you going back to the cigarettes. So again, I hope that this video has helped you out to understand a little bit about some of the entry level devices that you'll find out there when you're just starting on your journey to get away from cigarettes and get into vaping. If you have any further questions, if you're confused about something, put it down in the comment section below. I will help you out as much as I can. I'd love to be able to reach as many people as possible. So if you have your question, I will answer it. And also in an effort to reach as many people as possible, I'd love this video 
to get out to as many people as possible. And there's a couple of ways that you can help me with that. One would be to share this video through your social media and also something as simple as clicking that like button right down there below this video. That really does help us out to get us suggested to other people from YouTube. So thank you so much for watching this video. My name is John Hudson. And hey, if you want to know what it feels like to be a hero and save a life, convert your loved ones and your friends from smoking to vaping. You'll know. See you next time. Hey folks, if you're in the Northern Virginia area, come on by Vapor Syndicate on Dahlgren Road in King George, Virginia. The staff at Vapor Syndicate is top notch and they'll be more than willing to do what it takes to help you and your journey to kick the butts. Thanks again for watching.